I'm Rima Ilebo, MD, and I'm the medical director of the Natural Solutions Foundation. Most people call me Dr. Rima, and I'd like to welcome you to the Valley of the Moon Eco Demonstration Project. Now, the Valley of the Moon Project is in the highlands of Chittake, in the town of Volcan, and we've chosen its site very carefully. Why are we here? We're here to help the world reclaim the production of clean, unadulterated food. Why would I, a doctor, want to do that? Well, because health rests in food. You are what you eat and what you absorb. Your diseases are what you eat and you absorb if they're toxic or if there are insufficient nutrients to protect your immune system and support it, your brain, your heart, your lungs, your reproductive capacity, your bones, your skin, your very essence. And food is under attack, which means you are under attack. Food is under attack by the industrial agribiz forces who want your food to carry their chemicals and their genetic manipulations and their toxins because that makes you a good customer for them, but it also makes you a good customer for another division of those same companies, the pharmaceutical division. The division that makes the drugs that you will have to take when you develop cancer, cardiovascular disease, stroke, diabetes, and obesity, for example, which the United Nations and Food and Agriculture Organization says are the five major non-communicable, preventable diseases which are epidemic and are caused by undernutrition. So, if you're a chemical producer, and you can damage the world production of food and cause people to develop the diseases of undernutrition, cancer, cardiovascular disease, stroke, diabetes, and obesity at the head of the list. Then you're putting money into the coffers of the illness system, the death system. It's called the pharmaceutical and medical industries, which make most of its money from Guess what? Cancer, cardiovascular disease, stroke, diabetes, and obesity. Wait, aren't those the diseases caused by undernutrition and toxification of food? You bet. That's the business model. The Valley of the Moon is about giving the production of food back to the people. Small farmers, medium farmers, individuals who can grow their own clean, unadulterated food in tiny spaces. We're teaching people how to do that. And by the way, you can go to www.foodfreedomejournal.org and learn a lot about how to do that. Well, the farmers of the world are being driven to use chemicals and genetically modified food, genetically modified seed, which they can't save and which cause cancer, autoimmune disease, infertility, and so on, because of propaganda and economic pressure. And individual farmers are being driven out of business, leading to the development of the abjectly poor. You've seen pictures in Africa, in India, well, that's what happens when people are driven off the land and driven to the cities in a desperate hope that they might be able to feed their families. Of course, they can't. You get crime, you get poverty, and ultimately you get death. But you see, there is a plot afoot. It is a conspiracy. Conspiracy is an interesting idea. It means breathing together, to conspire, to come together and speak and breathe together to accomplish something. The conspiracy is articulated in black and white by, for instance, the United States government, which adopted a policy in 1974, which it still holds, that says, and I quote, that population reduction must be the first priority of American foreign policy. Food's a good way to do that, because while people are dying, especially if you take away their natural health care, the pharmaceutical end of the business is going to make an awful lot of money. And that's part of the game. Codex Alimentarius has been created to do just that. But other people are articulating the need to reduce the population of the planet. For instance, the World Health Organization. 
Now the World Health Organization sounds warm and fuzzy and it sounds like it's your friend. It's not. It's a private corporation precisely like the Federal Reserve, answerable to its stockholders and its funders. The World Health Organization receives more than two-thirds of its funding from, you guessed it, Big Pharma. And all of their policies, including the policies that they promulgate at Codex Alimentarius, which they and another private corporation, the Food and Agriculture Organization, run for the United Nations, the policies they promulgate degrade the world's food supply and make it increasingly difficult to get clean, unadulterated food. Clean, unadulterated food is your lifeline. So we're here to disseminate the production and the understanding of clean, unadulterated food at the Valley of the Moon. One of the things we've done is realizing that coffee farmers use horrendous levels of deadly chemicals, deadly for them, deadly for the environment, deadly for the consumer. We bought a coffee finca for the foundation and we started raising clean, unadulterated coffee. It's our fir first friendly food certified product. Let me show it to you. This is what it looks like. Valley of the Moon coffee. Valley of the Moon, by the way, is the old Indian name for the province of Chiriqui in Panama, where our project is located. Valley of the Moon coffee is GMO-free, pesticide-free, herbicide-free, fungicide-free, and the purpose of this product is to help us teach farmers how to replicate this clean growing so that nobody's coffee needs to be a toxic brew and so that no worker ever needs to be exposed to these horrific chemicals again. This is our first friendly food certified product. We have more in the making. Let me show you around the Valley of the Moon a little bit. Okay? Okay. Let me put the coffee back on the table. Yes. I'm not brewing.